guys, it's Kryzo. Thank you for watching my previous video about shoes, but today back to my favorite topic, so everything which connected to tech. And I have my little studio, I bought recently a new printer and I want to share with you experience of using it. Epson printer, the model L850, which is a printer for professionals. And uh, I just want to show you how enormous the box is. I want to pack it because uh, it's uh, used, so there won't be a wow effect, unfortunately, but it cost uh, normally $500 and I managed to buy it for $300, so it was a great deal. And uh, you can see those spots, unfortunately, I spilled some ink over the box because I didn't notice it was open when I was buying it. Silly me. But generally, uh, it's uh, one of the new models. I'll just open it so you can see what was inside and there was a, a lot of uh, polyesterone and the printer itself when you compare it to the box is also standing. As I was saying if you look at the printer it barely fits into the box and when you look at the images it doesn't do the justice. It's much much bigger and the attraument I was talking about here you have one bottle and uh, the producer says it's enough for 13,000 pages. I barely believe that but I printed several copies and I barely see the ink go so maybe it's true but you have to remember that the number of pages they are giving you is based on their norm and it's with the page coverage of 5% when you print the black and maybe 15% when you print color page so the number of pages you originally will print on your own usually you drill full size A4 color pages it's much much lower but still I think it's a very powerful tool and I want to show you what convinced me to buy this printer and it was the fact you can print borderless pictures on it so usually the printer has this periphery where you cannot print over uh, it doesn't print full size printouts, it gives you this white edge on the side and when you so I'll just unpack a paper which I bought and show you what quality you can achieve on this printer. Personally love Epson, I had it when I was studying and I never complained because the ink is cheap. Uh, previously they introduced uh, cartridges which had separate colors and you could buy them on eBay for very low price and the same with these ones, those bottles one bottle, original bottle, costs $10, which comparing to standard cartridges, which can cost you the price of the printer itself, it's uh, quite nice. Refill tank is on the side and you can always check the level of ink in the printer by just looking at the side. I bought this official Epson paper, which uh, is 10 by 15 centimeters, so it's exactly the size of a photo you would uh, go and have printed in a professional photo department and uh, let's open it and see what kind of paper it is and how well it goes with Epson printer because it's their paper so I expect amazing results. This was a special promo so I got two for one which uh, it's a great deal. As you can see we got two separate boxes and each po uh, box holds 40 sheets. So let's open the box number one and this is how the paper is packed. So you've got the instruction, you have details about the uh, paper quality and what other papers you can get from them and we will treat it to the printer and see what uh, results it will give us when printing. The paper is inside the printer and I expect very bright and contrast colors. I bought it exactly for this reason because I have a lot of photos and uh, I'd like to have uh, albums so to print them at home it would be a great help and uh, I guess uh, this uh, is what the printer is for and hopefully the result will be satisfying and in a moment you'll see it go and decide uh, for yourself what do you think. I'm printing from the Photoshop and I set up the color settings for printer settings. Comparing the photo and the print route, it seems like the printed photo is much darker, but this is what happens with printers usually, so you have to always light up a photo before printing it. 
but generally I'm satisfied with the result. The colors are a bit greenish, but I'll keep trying and probably I'll get them right at some point. But generally the quality is pleasing. I've done another round of prints out and this one is from Microsoft uh, Color Management, so Windows, and this one is from Photoshop. I prefer the one on the left. What is dissatisfying is the fact that the printer leaves a bluish stripe at the top. It depends on the color, what the background is. It happens when the printout is ending and it spits out the paper. So it doesn't uh, stop, it, it just speeds up and this causes the printer to lose the saturation and it happens every time. I don't know how to get rid of that. So this is a minus when it comes to prints out, but only all the photo is uh, very vivid. So uh, I have uh, 75 papers left to try and hopefully I get the result I strive for. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you have any questions, please uh, post a comment, uh, give me a like and have a nice weekend.